Good morning, folks. We've got a full slate of news today. Science from two of our favorite journals, interesting biological connections, volcanoes, weather, and the sun. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on our star were very calm and quiet, at least the Earth-facing half. The surges and bulges you see in the corona top right indicate the sunspot group recently departed has awoken. First, let's take a quick look at the solar wind. It shows us all is relatively calm and in normal range for the plasma stream, which is why geomagnetic conditions remain all green, nice and quiet. But as we tilt 90 degrees, focus in on the ionized helium above the departed sunspot, we can see she is now quite angry, furious actually. Luckily, these eruptions are not heading at Earth as you can guess from their position. Soho has one of them on there, but at the end is missing a few hours, including the first sequences of a larger CME just occurring this morning. Stereo A positioned months behind in our orbit and looking at the sun from around halfway, did see the eruption in full so far this morning. Venus is taking all of these CMEs, by the way, an energetic time here for the second closest planet to our star. Quick note, the interplanetary shocks abounding, an IMF set to be relevant from this coronal hole the next three to four days. We must be considered at risk for excess magnitude seismic events at that time. Read the papers on this at quakewatch.net. Overnight, Mount Agung in Bali erupted again. Fire and smoke seen from afar with ash raining down on the local communities there. We also saw Mount Merapi, lava flows making their way out the top and down the mountainside. Taking a quick peek in on South Africa, regions took severe weather with some causing major hail and flash flooding. As you can see, damage totals still being tallied. We're going next to the Weather Channel for the summer forecast in the United States. This pattern suggests warmer waters and cooler atmospheric temperatures, and of course the ocean overrules the atmosphere nearby. It has also been the observer's forecast for a weak and wavy jet stream this summer, which could produce this exact pattern if the dip is in the central U.S. Apparently their models have it doing so, otherwise the darker blue would be more in the central states than in the north. There are two kinds of earthquake forecasting scientific model and precursor observation, and then brute force computing. This is the former and this is the latter. Part of the recent discovery about tiny quakes in California every three minutes for the last 10 years, and the compilation of more than 1.8 million events, will be the recognition of tiny processes that could lead to big ones. Not only do these require supercomputers to model and test, but the computing power to observe in real time and produce forecast data requires even more. Caveat, it has just as much validity as what we do, no doubt about it. Up next, we have three double-edged swords. This is the first of three papers published this week in the Observer's two favorite Science Direct journals that adequately recognize a solar signal and earthly climate data, but stubbornly stick to total solar irradiance, the waves only, and not including X-rays, no protons, electrons, magnetic fields, etc., this data set has now been available for nearly two years, and still the particle forcing is missing from the studies. We gave an entire presentation on this problem and the fact that the particle forcing data set is like a taboo thing they dare not touch. Still happens to be true, apparently. On the brighter side, we happen to see a righteous connection between the electromagnetic stimulation of the body and positive medical outcomes. Welcome number five bajillion on that list, recovered memory. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. There's a link to that fatal flaw in climate change video right below, and if you haven't seen it, it is a doozy. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.